Well, he's from the Chicago area. Michael Jordan likes to keep that tongue out of his mouth. He does the same thing, but look at this. Easy layup by Williamson, six-point lead. The effort by Williamson. Inside, a minute and a half to go. Legree with Brandon on his back. Timeout, says Denny Crum. Wharton drives to the basket and gets the basket. It's a four-point game, a minute 12 to go. 88-84, LSU Holden goes for the steal and fouls. And that'll be four on Cornelius Holden. Been a lot of little bitty things, David that have been a difference with the LSU effort in this game. An inside look at all the action of the Williamson missed two free throws, and there's no way that the shooter should ever get his own rebound and be able to put it back in, unless it's a freak thing where it kicks all the way back out. But Williamson, big, big play for LSU. And Caesar with big free throws. He's hit two three-pointers in this half, has 15 points in the game. A freshman. This, that one, and Legree will grab this rebound. Louisville down by five, 89-84. Legree around the seven-footer, hit it. Seven points, Keith Legree, 89-86. Three-point LSU lead, 55 seconds to go. A 10 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Sullivan fouling on Brandon. This guy had missed a free throw all year coming into this game. He's not the one you want to foul. He's missed one tonight, four out of five. So Brandon, the sophomore, Big miss there. Does not connect. There are 40 seconds left. Of course, now both teams with 10 fouls, so both teams will have two free throws in the final 40 seconds. Brandon hitting one out of two, 90 to 86. Louisville needs two possessions, and they're going to talk about it. And Denny Crum up off the bench to signal timeout for Louisville. Sullivan and Brewer, the two shooters he's got in the game Sullivan with four three-pointers tonight and Brewer with three and 36 seconds here in Baton Rouge Louisiana going to try to get it to Sullivan if they possibly can the shots open for Legree Sullivan missed it hold it got it and he's fouled big play by Cornelius Holden a one-point game. That's when you miss O'Neal in the game. Two-point game, 90 to 88. 12 seconds clicked off the clock. 24 left as Holden will be at the line. Big, big rebound. Legree with the miss. Sullivan missed the tip. The follow and the foul. And it's a one-point game now. They whistled the foul very quickly to stop it with one second off of the clock. 23 to go. I don't think they really wanted to foul there. Obviously didn't need to, but yet one thing about it, if you're going to foul and put him at the line, he sure didn't waste much time. And uh, just one second clicked off the clock. And so at the line, it'll be Brandon. And Brandon is probably not the guy you want up there at the line. If you're Louisville. O'Neill is out. Caesar with four. Williamson with three. Holden with four. Minor Legree and Brewer all with three. Here's Brandon's foul shot. Now Shaq was cheering a little bit earlier. He's just kind of taking it all in right now. Brandon makes it a 91-89 game. 
92-89, three-point lead, 22 to go. Legree will take the three, and he didn't get it. Everett Sullivan will flip around and put it up. Foul inside. It's on Brewer. I think they're going to call it on Williamson. On Williamson and Brewer both went after one another. Yeah. They're going to, they pointed to hold it to go to the line. Well, what was it? Notre Dame in this crucial situation, the only road game earlier. Here you see Legree taking the three. I thought they rushed that a little bit. Sullivan actually even had more time right here, but he spins and takes a very difficult shot. And then they get the Williamson foul and hold it to go to the line. Only eight seconds left. Three eight seconds game. left and a three-point lead for LSU. Lane violation. Lane, lane violation against LSU. Uh, Holden can step back, gain his composure, regain his composure, and go back to the line. Dale Brown going to make a lot of complaining here. It's been a bugaboo all year, free throw shooting. Dale Brown calls a timeout. Right, of course, have Kentucky at Rupp Arena. No timeouts left for LSU. Eight seconds to go. And it's a one-two point game, 92-90. Now, if they don't get the steal, they'll foul immediately, like right now. They do. That's Morton's fourth, and there's one second off the clock. Boy, you heard Denny Crum map out that strategy. They wanted to allow Williamson to get the ball in his hands. They did that, and they fouled immediately when they didn't get the steal. And kept Brandon off the foul line. Now Williamson, who's been up to the foul line twice tonight and missed both of them. Yeah, it's been a great game, and LSU comes back to Louisville next year, so they'll be facing their own death dome in Freedom Hall. Good series. They'll see that guy back most likely. He says he's going to come back. Two shots. Oh! That's a big miss now. He's 0 for 3. Louisville should get the rebound because LSU has everybody back. The only people in the lane are four red-shirted Cardinals. Louisville has a timeout left. LSU has none. It's still a two-point lead. Here we go. Somebody's got to shoot it. They got it! Keith Wickley has won the game on a last-second three-point shot. It's all over. All of a sudden, the Death Dome has become totally solid because the freshman, Keith Wickley, who in a couple crucial situations threw it away, but... The guy is a Major League Baseball player, and that's a clutch hit, and I'm talking about a triple, a three-pointer, to win the game in Baton Rouge. And that was probably outside of 30 feet as Keith Legree, a freshman, and let's look at it again, a three-pointer at the buzzer. Legree, way outside. And Holden almost didn't get rid of it. But that was a three-pointer that'll be remembered for a long, long time. Here it goes, the miss. That's 0 for 4 at the line for Williamson. Now watch Holden here. He's looking for somebody. He's looking to Sullivan, gets it to Legree. I mean, we're talking an NBA plus three-pointer, and that's nothing but, as Joe Dean would say, sorry, Joe, string music. <laughs> 